almost every video I make, even if it's not directly about the law of attraction, it's pretty much always indirectly related to it. All, everything that I'm saying, all of my different topics and videos are about how to build your dream ideal life. Because I believe that everyone can have what they want in life, they can do whatever they want in life, and they don't have to be stuck in jobs and relationships or anything that they're unhappy with. So find a way to Hello everyone, my name is Monica and welcome back to our Lightworker community. Today's video is going to be all about taking back your power. So when I was really young, my mom told me something that always stuck with me even though I didn't understand what it meant at the time. And she told me that no one can make you do anything. She said you always have a choice in what decision that you make which I was just like, what do you mean I have a choice? No, I don't have a choice. <laughs> I remember hearing this message a little bit later again, recently actually, from another YouTuber that I watch and I wasn't quite ready to receive the message again. Basically what they said was, they used the example of going to work. A lot of times we say, I have to go to work. I know I caught myself saying that, a lot when I was working a regular job and they said you don't have to do that you're choosing to do that and I didn't want to hear that at the time because I just absolutely despised and loathed the job I had and I would have done like anything to get out of it but I felt like I had to go but now I understand that that was a choice so a lot of people will say well, you have to go to work because you have to make money and you have to pay bills in order to have a place to live and not be homeless. And you have to have money to buy food so that you don't starve to death. I'm not arguing that that's not true. I totally agree that that is true, that we do live in a society where we do need cash in order to survive. But the thing is, is that choosing to go to work or choosing not to go to work and potentially be homeless and starve to death are both choices. One choice definitely sounds more ideal than the other one. But the basic principle and fact is that they're both still choices. So instead, I like to say I am choosing to go to work. I am choosing to brush my teeth so that I don't get cavities. I am choosing to take my dogs for a walk so that they don't pee and poop all over my house. I am choosing to stay in this relationship because I love my husband and I feel he's my soulmate and I'm happy in it. Everything in life is a choice. We always have a choice. So I just wanted to add that I understand that there are some exceptions to what I'm saying, such as if somebody is physically restrained or enslaved or physically overpowered somehow, such as being in prison, then they can't make any decisions as all of their rights and freedoms have been taken away. But for all intents and purposes of this video, this is not what we're talking about. I know they like to say a lot in movies and TV shows, especially because there's a lot of those crime, CSI type drama, murder, police, precinct, TV shows nowadays. And there will be somebody who was abducted and kidnapped and the kidnapper says, you have to pay us this amount of money at this time or your loved one dies. Whether that character decides to pay the money or not is a choice. So there is going to be times where both choices seem like a lose-lose. Neither one of them are ideal. And people like to say, I had no choice. But the honest truth is they did have a choice. And when they made that choice, the best thing to do is to take responsibility for it. And responsibility meaning the ability to respond. They had the ability to respond to a decision and they made a choice. So instead of saying, that person made me do it, I had no choice, I have to do this. 
if we say and think I chose this and we take responsibility for it again meaning our ability to respond to the situation we take our power back we tend to externalize our power to other people and then we start to feel like a victim we start to feel like a slave or a puppet and that we don't have any control in our lives that everybody else is dictating everything that we need to do and we just feel stuck and that can start to program us mentally to think that we literally cannot move we're like a tree we're stuck with these roots in the ground that we can't leave our relationship if we're unhappy we can't get another job if we don't like our job that we can't move somewhere else if we're unhappy with the place that we're living and people will literally think that they can't do something and won't ever make a decision or another choice or to be open to another option and to actually look for another option they just give up right away saying i can't i can't do it i have to i have to do this and I know this is something that people don't typically like to hear. I know I didn't want to hear it at the moment, but this is the truth. Once you start externalizing your power to other people, you lose a lot of your power. You start to feel like you've lost control of your life. And no one wants to feel that way. So the way to empower yourself again is to remember and to start thinking and start saying and reprogramming yourself to remember that you always have a choice. Everything you do in life is a choice, whether it seems like a positive or a negative decision that you have to make. And once you start doing that, it makes life a lot easier. I know for me, that's all incorporated with the law of attraction, that I can move, I'm not stuck, that I can make a different decision, that I can look for other options. And not only that, I can start to manifest and attract new opportunities into my life. And that's what I've been doing for the last few years. And that is one of the major things I am constantly teaching on this channel. Almost every video I make, even if it's not directly about the law of attraction, it's pretty much always indirectly related to it. All, everything that I'm saying, all of my different topics and videos are about how to build your dream ideal life. Because I believe that everyone can have what they want in life, they can do whatever they want in life, and they don't have to be stuck in jobs and relationships or anything that they're unhappy with. All right, that is my video for today. I hope that it helped, that it made you feel a little bit more empowered and to remember how much power you actually have. Internalize it, don't externalize it and start to become more conscious and mindful of every choice you make in life to build a better life. All right, until next time, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone.